Here's a little trick I learned for a break-in on the 7300 in CW mode. If you use break-in mode, see where it says break-in, you get a little delay. It's adjustable if you hold in your Vox break-in button here. You get this menu right there and that says 2.0D that D means dits so that means a delay of two dits uh, if you adjust that you know way up here it makes your delay very long turn it down here makes it short All right, now check this out. Go to your menu, key speed. I've got it set at 48 words a minute. I'm using an external keyer. Turn it down to six words a minute. Watch this. I'm gonna hit the key. Check out the big long delay. Turn it up. Super fast. All right, I'm using the straight key input. I'm not using the internal tuner. Well, let's try the straight key. Straight key. Hear the relay? It is following the relay. There's uh, following the key. There's basically no delay. Now, turn the key, key speed all the way down. Big delay. So the delay is more or less fine tunable when you're using. Uh, the speed control and of course that will set the speed for your pre-programmed uh, function keys if you don't want to mess with that then that's fine but uh, just showing you what you can do uh, let's say that you you don't want to use full break in you see full break in like this full break in the relay goes very fast Here at King. Okay, it follows the uh, the key perfectly. Um, if I slow this key speed down, it doesn't have any effect. That's because it's in the full break-in mode. But if I'm in break-in mode. Now, with the slow speed, big huge delay. Back up to 48 words a minute. Not much delay, probably about one dit. I kind of like it there because it takes out all the relay clatter and it, uh, it gives it a very smooth transition. It's a lot quieter. And it's probably fast enough for most, uh, you know, full break-in type operation. Just another little trick I discovered. Thanks.